Hello all, my name is uh, Deep Ranjan. A very good morning to all of you. So, this uh, video is the continuation of the previous video, and this will be our last video, I guess. Okay. So, as we already did in our last uh, video, the model prediction using OpenCV. So, as I told you, like we are going to implement this uh, particular YOLO v4 model with we are going to integrate this YOLO v4 tiny model with Flask as also so i have done that okay so i have written few lines of code for the flask integration so let me start okay so if you can see here uh, this is the app okay this is the flask app that i have created so let me first of all run it okay so you guys can uh, understand what kind of output we are getting from this flask okay so let me activate my environment first okay so before going for uh, any kind of a project implementation or in any kind of a project uh, prediction or something like that you have to create a specific environment for that and for this specific project i have already given the requirement.txt file that is present in my github repo as well okay so you can just download those requirements okay so i have activated my environment then i have run this file by using python app.py command okay and i got the url so let me paste this url here okay so you can see that this is the uh, very basic uh, html layout you can see that so there is an option of choose file and there is a submit so this uh, flask api is implement only for the images okay i haven't implemented for the video so what we are going to do uh, we have to just uh, click on choose file and we have to select any of the images okay which you want so let's suppose uh, i'm taking this kind of image okay just click on open and then we have to hit the submit just wait a couple of seconds then you will get the prediction so this is our original image and this is the output that we are looking for okay and also if you want to do any further uh, like a prediction you can just select from there okay so you can take it there and then just uh, submit you will get the output as well so this is the simple flask api that i have implemented so let me explain the code as well so how i have implemented these things so what i did here uh, first uh, i have imported the flask and inside the flask flask request and render template that is used for the uh, any kind of a html like if you want to display any kind of a html page by using python so we have to uh, use this render template and i'm so including os and the flask code is also important for that it uh, if you won't do that so maybe we will get some conflict in deployment part okay and subtle is uh, not required actually i was using for some for other purpose but right now subtle is not required and this uh, is the yolo v4 image this particular python file and from that importing we are predict function so you can see that there is a predict function that is there and inside that i have already explained this code in my previous video like how we are uh, checking going for a prediction with the help of opencv so i have already explained so i'm not going to explain this particular code in this video i will just explain this app.py code okay how i have done the integration of app so what i did here so first things we have to do uh, we are starting from the app the main okay this is the main and after that it will go to this app okay so this is the app this is the flask name that we have given the app okay and i have defined few of the parameters here few of the variables here like one is upload folder uh, so uh, whatever images that we are going to take by using the uh, web page so that will be stored inside this static underscore upload folder you can see that all the images are stored in this particular folder or directory you can see that and there is a route app dot route and there is a slash slash means uh, we are looking for the home page okay so i'm just returning our index.html page okay so in that index.html page if you can see that uh, there is a form okay a basic form is there so what it is form is there the uh, two things are there one is the file it is select uh, selecting a file and also we have to do a submit so this is the uh, html code of the index dot what html page okay nothing else is there so it's a very basic page is there and main thing is happening inside this predict function 
physics round app dot round so whenever uh, we are submitting the uh, we are clicking on the submit button then this predict function will call predict route will call and inside that there is a function with the name of predict route so what it will do it will take up it, it will take that file okay whatever file image file we have selected it will take that file and what it will do it will take uh, secure a, it will pass that file will be passed through a function with the name of secure file name so it what it will do it will take the path it's a complete path of that particular file name and we have to just uh, like just copy that particular file to that location this upload folders okay so this is static upload folder we have to upload that file to that particular location and from that particular location that file path we are passing to this predict function and what is this predict function so so if we can click there so it will go inside that and that file name it, we are passing here so everything will happen here so it will take the file name and it will start predicting so that is the thing that we have done in the app.py file and after getting the prediction we are just rendering the upload, up, uploaded dot html page so what is in the uploaded dot html page let me show you that as well so uh, there is a two div classes there okay two div classes like so you can see that this one so there is a this is the first div and this is the second div is there so in the first div what we are showing here uh, this is the original path that we are looking for original path image so i'm just part swapping it dynamically okay so it will come here okay and whatever output that we are getting okay so if you can see here in this uh, particular uh, function so uh, whatever output that we got that we are saving in inside the static upload folder and with the name of output.png so simply it will take that image okay and it will just show it nothing else it's a very uh, simple and very basic html code is there okay there is no uh, that much uh, hard thing is there so you can easily understand it even though i will upload all this code on the my github repo so that you guys can easily clone it and run it in your system so so this is the flask api integration of our american sign language detection model yolo v4 tiny model so that is end for this video so thank you guys bye bye